Hi everyone, uh, in this video today, we're gonna to walk through how to use ChatGPT as part of your interview prep, really to make sure that you're as prepared as best you can by pulling in all the different information that you have access to and turn it into a structured interview prep document. So if you're interviewing for a role right now, hopefully this will be really helpful, um, whether you're at the stage where you're just starting to apply and trying to diagnose your resume, or whether you are actively interviewing, hopefully there'll be some tools in this video uh, that will help you prep. Don't forget, number five, company research, um, because it's really critical before you go into your first interview to understand a lot more about the company and what it does. Uh, so we're gonna walk through this end to end. Uh, we're gonna use this template, which is gonna be available in the description. We're gonna use ChatGPT to generate the content that we want. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a couple of other little uh, kind of features and bookmarks of where to get information um, for this, this process. So uh, we're gonna use a use case here where we're gonna pretend that we're gonna apply for a, a job at Microsoft. Um, and so the first thing we wanna do is identify what key skills are gonna be required for that job. So um, what we're gonna need here is the job description and our current resume. And uh, so we have a prompt here. So for the job description, um, I actually already loaded up a page. Um, so this shows a job description for a cloud solution architect manager. Um, this you know, details everything that's required. Um, so we're gonna copy and paste that in just a moment. Um, and then we also need a current resume. Uh, so I have a current resume uh, currently on my desktop. So I'm gonna use that and upload that to um, ChatGPT as we go through that process. So all we need to do here is copy the prompt Go over to ChatGPT, paste the prompt in here, and what we're doing is uploading our resume. So we'll upload the resume. So this is our current resume, and paste the job description below. So here, let's just, uh, for ease of, of use, let's just post the responsibilities. We're going to spend a little bit more time pulling everything in, maybe editing a little bit. Um, but for now, let's just paste this and see what happens. Um, so hopefully what, what this is going to do is analyze our current resume, look at key skills and match them. So, um, yep, these are key skills that are required. And it's basically gonna walk through um, how your resume lies to the job description. But the kind of key thing we wanna take away here is that um, we can then understand how our resume could potentially be reviewed by a, a, a recruiter and then try and adapt that resume a little bit more. And uh, it comes with recommendations at the bottom there. So, you know, a quick script, a couple of files, um, and what we're gonna do here is copy this. We're actually gonna paste this below here where it says results. And when I paste into uh, spreadsheets, what I like to do is paste special and values only. That removes a lot of the formatting. And you can kind of go through and edit that um, at, a, at a future stage as well if you want to. But at least now we've saved this and it's in the right place so we can always go back and review. Um, the next stage is to actually generate sample interview questions. So we're gonna keep the prompts and the results that we had from the, the previous section, but next we need the company culture page. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is go back to our Cloud Solutions Architect, look at life at Microsoft, and then look at the culture page. And so this is gonna tell us a little bit about um, the culture at Microsoft. All I'm gonna do here is come back in a second and copy and paste all of that. Um, but we're gonna take that prompt, we're gonna put it into ChatGPT, and then we're gonna paste the culture page. Now all I'm gonna do here is copy the whole thing and just let ChatGPT do that for, for me. Um, this is just trying to save as much time as possible, I'll keep this video as short as possible. Um, but what hopefully you're gonna see here is um, actually, this is generating some plenty of questions, but um, this is actually showing the uh, kind of like culture related questions um, for uh, a, a potential role at uh, Microsoft. I think it's trying to infer um, what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, so, this is going to generate our sample interview questions. What we're going to do here is just copy and paste these, um, wait, wait for this to finish. But what, what I essentially want to do here is um, for each of these questions, um, once it's, it's in my spreadsheet, I can then go back into the spreadsheet and then for each question, then think through how I would answer it and actually put it in the spreadsheet. And the framework that uh, is most recommended here is to use the STAR framework. It's the situation um, the task that you are in, the task that you are asked to do, what actions you took and the results, ideally metrics driven. Um, so when I'm creating answers for all these questions, uh, that's what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to kind of copy and paste this, put this into the results here again, Paste values only. And then at a later stage, I can go back and, and add all these. And one thing I do like to do actually from prepping for an interview is print each of these pages out and actually handwrite. Um, that way I can highlight different sections that are, that are gonna be key. Um, there's actually some evidence that actually writing by hand will actually help you retain that, that knowledge a little bit better. So um, you know, everyone's preferences are different, but that's how I would approach this. Um, the next stage uh, is a little more interesting as we go to an interview specific refinement. So now we have our kind of generic questions. We looked at the culture page. We know what the job description is and how we stack up on our resume. So let's actually then go through and say, okay, well, if I know a little bit more about my interviewer, can I figure out what they're, they're gonna be looking for in particular? And so a good way to do this is if you have the LinkedIn profile of the individual, you can go to the profile, click more, and then uh, save that to PDF. And what this is going to do is create a PDF of the LinkedIn profile, uh, which you can then use to upload to ChatGPT that will then analyze and actually come up with more specific recommendations. This may not work because the resume and the LinkedIn profile are the same, but again, I'm going to copy um, my prompt. I'm going to paste it directly into ChatGPT, and then I'm going to upload the LinkedIn profile 
which is in my downloads and my profile. Um, I'm gonna wait for that to upload. And then when I uh, click submit, hopefully this is then gonna look at look at my background. So you know, it's pulling my background in. Um, and then what it's trying to do is hone in based on my 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 personal background experience as if I was the interviewer to try and understand what kind of questions I'd be interested in asking. Um, maybe think through how to uh, uh, how to prepare best for the interview, given what you know about the interviewer. This is all things that um, you know many people would do. Some of the things that we learned how to do uh, through through business school and um, get an MBA. So hopefully, um, none of this is is too shocking. Um, but it does actually help you leverage ChatGPT uh, to really kind of create. Uh, the best interview um, experience possible. Um, so I'll wait for this to finish, and then I'm going to copy again. Copy the whole thing. Um, that way, if ChatGPT goes down, you have a copy in this document. Um, one of the things that I do like to do as well is post interview uh, to go back then and review everything that, that I prepped and figure out what was helpful, what wasn't helpful. Kind of reflect on the interview process and you know, figure out if I can do better next time. So that's the uh, interview specific uh, refinement. Um, we're now going to do probably one of the more exciting parts of this. Um, you know, for free, you can actually have ChatGPT give you a mock interview. Um, so what we're going to do here, we're not going to go through the whole process. I'm not going to answer the questions, but we're going to paste in here um, asking ChatGPT to give us a mock interview. Um, so you know, I'm going to. Um, it would normally ask me to kind of write all those uh, those answers in. You could spend your know, 15, 20 minutes going through this process, and um, you'll get a good feel for what kind of questions to answer. Um, this is this is just going to allow you to practice as, as much as possible, even if you don't have uh, people to practice with live. So um, you've got your mock interview. Final stage uh, is actually doing some more company specific research. This is really helpful before you get on your very first call with the recruiter or with the hiring manager. But you want to know a little bit more about what the company is doing, where they currently are in their business cycle, and how you could potentially um, kind of impact the, the overall business. Really understanding the business of the product is going to be key here. Um, now the way that um, I really like to do this is to actually look at what's being reported externally from the organization. So this is a Microsoft role. Let's go to Microsoft investor relations. So the way to, to get to this is you, you do a Google search for investor relations. This is only if the company is going to be publicly traded. Every publicly traded company has this and by law has to generate an annual report. So we're going to use them. If you don't have that, if it's a smaller company, they're private, they're not publicly traded, maybe they don't have this information. So you want to try and gather information from wherever you can. Uh, but because this is Microsoft, this is fairly straightforward. I'm going to click on annual reports. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go into the 2023 annual report. So um, the last uh, full year, um, we can then download the annual report here. Um, I've already downloaded it. Now, um, the only tricky thing with Microsoft is you can only download in, in Word format. Um, so you actually have to convert that to PDF in ChatGPT to really uh, be able to use that. I think they can use the doc format, but I've had more success once I've actually converted it to a PDF. Um, so now what we're going to do is our final prompt is going to help us with company research. So we're going to paste this in here and then going to upload um, the annual report in the PDF format uh, that I, I'd already saved. And once it's finished uh, uploading, I'll be able to then uh, request a response. And so the final final stage in this process, pretty much there is um, sort of come some key insights. This is actually gonna be really helpful when you're asking um, targeted questions. Um, I would say don't rely on the targeted questions that GPT generates too much because you're actually gonna wanna tailor them more specifically to what you've learned throughout the process. But it's actually going to give you something um, that shows you've done a little bit more research, shows that you're interested in the um, kind of follow-up process. And you can see here, this is actually a really helpful, um, uh, really helpful uh, strategy to go through because it's actually using some of the uh, knowledge that we created earlier in the in the chat and actually applying it more here. So what I'm going to do is again copy this, paste it into the company research section here, and um, and paste with that formatting so I can go through and actually format it myself later. Um, but now we have a full um, interview prep document. We've used a spreadsheet so that we can kind of go back and you know, click through to different sections. Um, we've seen what the prompt is, so we can actually go back and use the prompt again if we want to. But the results are all here. Um, we can then play around with this. We don't have to use ChatGPT anymore. Um, I didn't paste the mock interview, which is something you might want to do once you've gone through the whole process, and then review your answers and, and everything else. But um, hopefully this is a kind of useful structure. Um, please uh, feel free to use and share the template that I'm going to link below, freely available. Um, hopefully it's helpful. And uh, if you do find it helpful, please like. Please make a comment and, and just let me know that you like this kind of content. If you want to see more of this, uh, the subscribe button will be coming up. There's also going to be a video um, for one of the other content pieces that we've produced. Um, hope this is helpful and uh, best of luck in the interview process.